What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow controls, specifically the switch control. Now, a switch control is really, really useful. Um, I've used it in a lot of flows, and it allows us to change the direction and the path of a, a flow based on a response that you are getting back. So, um, for instance, uh, you may want to have a flow that runs on a certain day of the week that performs a certain action on that day of the week. So we could use a switch to say, if the day of the week is Monday, then send an email to say, you know, I don't like Mondays. Here's a bunch of cat pictures uh, that will brighten your day. If it's Friday, send an email with a bunch of like celebratory pictures because you made it through the week. You know, it's a really, really useful tool. So we'll show you a demo of this now. So we're in Microsoft Flow, and this is a flow for um, some training feedback. So um, we deliver some training to people, and we want some feedback via a Microsoft form. Um, but in the, in the feedback form, we have a number of trainers that could be potentially training a customer, and we need the response to go to the right trainer. So we have the trigger of when the response is submitted. Uh, we've already got an apply to each uh, for the getting the survey responses and then we're going to add a switch into this here. So uh, again, we'll add a step, we'll go to uh, add a control and this time we will choose the switch action. So we see the switch up here um, and we have this thing that says on and the logo says on and we also have this bit here and we can see um, we've got some responses. So um, we have a different number of direct content here uh, and what we want to run it on is who was your trainer so we want to put that in there and that'll basically once each response is submitted we're going to look at what the answer to who was your trainer and then we can start creating microsoft flows based on that so if we put the trainer collins jones um, and then we can add some actions into here. So we could um, send an email um, to me to say, hey Matt, you got some training feedback. Um, it looks like everything went great. Um, here is an email for you. So we'll click on email. Um, and then that would then we could specify these things to say to us. It's asking me to sign in. Um, uh, right, okay. And there we go. So yeah, so we could specify this to go to me and my email address, um, and we could put in content from the from the response that we're getting to say this is what your rating was, this is any other feedback that we got from the customer, and this comes to me. But what we can do is we could add multiple ones in here. So we could add another one in. So uh, this is um, maybe this is Fred Flintstone, that um, very well known. Uh, cartoon character uh, who's also a um, Dynamics trainer apparently uh, and we can send uh, an email to him instead so again we can come in here we can hit email uh, we'll open office and we could send an email so again we can put in Fred's, e Fred's email address here and put in all the content that um, Fred has the feedback for. We also have this default action as well so uh, what this will do is this will run through and it will say right does it match this first one? No. Uh, okay, let's move on to the second one. Does who is your trainer match the second one? No. We also have this default action here. So we could say, you know, if it doesn't equal Matt Collins Jones, if it doesn't equal Fred Flintstone, uh, let's send an email to the manager to say we have some tra have some feedback for someone that was doing some training. Uh, we don't know who it was. Here's all the details. Please go look at it. So this default action can be if if these first um, these first matches aren't made, we can have a default action as like a catch all at the end of it. So this is particularly useful for things like um, at the moment things like option sets. Um, there's no real way to handle option sets inside um, Flow at the moment. So using switches to then allow you to branch down different paths and set different pieces of data or do different actions is a really really powerful tool. So what do you guys think about it? Do you switch a lot? Um, are there any improvements to switch that you would add in? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with a friend. Ciao for now.